Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, hurry, everyone, and uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm your captain. Uh, yeah, I'll be your captain, Hillian, along with first mate Rakir Scalebed. <laughs> and welcome back to Techno Mage: Return of Eternity, which we well, we we already streamed yesterday, but because I can't stream tomorrow due to well work, uh, I, I decided a bit last minute to uh, stream it again today, since uh, yeah, we'll <clears throat> we'll be short a few streams this week due to work scheduling in the weekend and yeah last time we got we finished up the tower and we got to sh uh, to and through shark town in the volcano and then all of a sudden yeah we died to a trap here and as you can see there is a bloody respawn point here uh, wait hold on I re yeah that yeah that was should be there i'm trying to remember if that was there or not for I would not be surprised if it had a bug that somehow removed it. Wait, that would be a rather weird bug, wouldn't it? Yeah. The thing that we tried to do is that we tried to jump through this thing, but we ended up getting killed instead. And no okay, way. Just I, I think I know people. what happened. You you went along the wall away from it, I think. Now we went through the short end here, where it comes no, no, out. I, I, I meant the, the save point. Yeah, I think the way. reason you didn't say is that you you didn't walk too close enough to it, possibly. Probably. That is the only thing that can explain how, well, it didn't get activated and send us all the way back to the bloody tower. Yeah, do, and again, you would expect it to uh, give those things... Wait, um, okay, so there's some... Oh, wait. I think I know what's going on. It counts as a full death because all of your health gets depleted. It, why even put the bloody respawn point there if it's... <laughs> okay, yeah, that's just, just stupid. If it happens again, we'll have to keep an eye on the health bar. Just so we can be sure. It, no, it, it doesn't drain health. So why does it bring us to the loading screen... Instead of just respawning us, then. Is this a glitch? Is it hmm. due to be using up all our... Auto sa all our saves, not to something? Yeah, it can't be that. It was They were already filled up earlier. Same spot. Uh, let's see. Which was the quick save again? I think it was F9. Let's have a quick check. Uh, what's that? I don't think... No, it wasn't shown in here, but I think it was... Yeah, F9. Okay. Well, then, here we go. I think I might also be jumping a bit late on those, but oh well, we're past them now. And... Let's hope that the same problem doesn't persist on these platforms. Oop, almost fell off there. I think it... Melvin's moved aside as if he was going to slip off for a second. Okay. Why is... Okay. That's where we're just getting across, but what is this way then? And... Yeah, we also learned that Dagomar is Ramogad, the traitorous old one. And apparently he was among their leaders. And yeah, he was just he was just a megalomaniac who wanted to be in control of everything. So he basically betrayed his you know, his entire race to be king of the monsters instead. Yeah, he was known as the wisest, the smartest or something. Now, uh, among the... a leader, but very high influential, definitely. Let's see, healing potion. We also... Well, we also helped... <laughs> sort of rig a shark election. Uh, by giving the trade master slash uh, mayor of the... Uh, of Shark Town, a very original name. 
But then again, we also have Dreamer and Steamer Town. <laughs> By, yeah, helping him get a few extra votes to ensure that uh, a shark with also <laughs> a lot of megalomania didn't get uh, to be voted yeah, as their leader instead. And as thanks, he gave us an amulet that allows us to attack faster. What is that? This, uh, that's probably magma. Behind maybe. you, this the thing that stands on two legs. It, it's in our suit of armor. We've we passed through like a do we've passed by a dozen or so of those. Uh, I just didn't notice them. What did notice them? <laughs> they so stand still. Haven't the other one moved? No, those were summoned uh, armors by the skeleton by the uh, ghost priests or something. Okay, I guess I didn't pay attention to them for... They look weird. Okay, it's going to be one of these puzzles again. The middle one only turns the middle one. The top one turns the outer ones. And this one... Stop also trying the outer to ones. break the puzzle! <laughs> hmm... These get turned in the same amount. And not, I think wait, we what? have the same solution here as with the last puzzle. But wait, the box... The, hmm? Did the box just take damage from lava? No, I don't think so. I, I saw it flash red. The box... I saw it flash red. Yeah, but that might have been the... <laughs> this. No, I can't push it in there. Because that's an incomplete square. Can I... Okay. And why is there a movable box if I can't use that to rig the puzzle? Does, do we need to go somewhere else? Hmm. Let's check it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. What? Okay, okay I completely missed that, that button. Yeah, I was about to ask, why, why is the... Why was the box on a button? Like, okay, this is uh, interesting. This is the reverse of what usually... Usually you have to pull a box to the button. Here we just need to remove it. I'm guessing it might have changed the puzzle. Uh, wait. It's correct now. <laughs> okay, that was by complete accident. <laughs> that, that's what I me meant by reverse. The box... What's the problem? Yeah, and now there's a bunch more. Uh, oh, I think I see it. Do we need to make... I think we need to cover up the carpet bits. Here's the thing. I want you to think outside the box. Well, we're going to fill in the box instead, so... Too bad. Let them see if I can find a box your size. You know, I could always just... Use some mallet and just smash you to until you fit. I don't think we have enough boxes to fill uh, to block everything up here. Uh, oh, I thought you said. Uh, it's almost what? How, uh, I thought you almost made a joke at your own expense. Okay, what do we need to do here then? <laughs> Uh, that was dumb because I can't. I couldn't have moved it otherwise. Because for some reason it doesn't allow you to push or pull from the outside of the oh, <clears throat> of a, uh, a room. Probably because the the wall takes up a little bit of the square. Hmm. No, no. I don't think we saw a pattern everywhere. That uh, anywhere. That we need to fill in with those things. So let's take a quick look around. Uh, were we? Yes, we were in here. There is nothing for us to gain here. And this just leads back to there. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, is there any sort of pattern in here then, or is it just an absolute guesswork? So if I just cover you up again, it doesn't change anything there, but... Hmm. At least that one is fixed, but I think that puzzle is done. So the question is, what needs to be done here? Yeah, my first guess would be to cover up all of these, but there aren't enough boxes for that. Wait. Oh! I think I see what's going on. Hmm? One carpet needs four. Yeah. That one needs six. And there's three of the small ones and two of the big ones. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, those are not carpets. Those are carvings on the floor. Yeah, they look like carpeting that was earlier in this area, I think, but I might just be misremembering, as usual. Well, I'm more reacting to, like, yeah, just look at the, how the stone looks around the carpet. Hmm. Or is that rest of the carpet? No, 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 that's not the carpet around it. So, yeah, it looks more like it's... There's entire blocks it needs to be on. And why is one of the boxes glowing? Because it's close to the light there. Oh. Do we need to copy this, maybe? Uh, let's see. Four, six, nine boxes. Five, nine boxes. Ooh. Okay. I think you might be right. Let's try that. I see nothing that really sh tells us that we have to, but it's the only thing I can think of at the moment. So, let's see. Do, wait, do we even have enough boxes for that? Yeah, we, we have nine boxes, and this shape is nine boxes, I think. Three, five, seven, nine. All right. Let's um, pull this one like this. And then we pull this here. Of course, I can't move it like that for a bit. And this instead, then. Push that thing there. Don't hmm. break the box. We need it. And that did nothing. What do we need to do here then? Wait, is that... Claw? Claw? Okay, those are claw, mar claw marks. I thought for a moment they were scribbled text. Or carved text. Hmm. Okay, we are missing something. Let's head back a bit again to see if there's anything we missed. Isn't that... It's still a bit odd that these specifically are 3D like that. But then again, they are decoration, not enemies. Uh, now, in this early day of 3D, they, they look very awkward. Hmm. Anywhere we missed. Not that should be accessible. Oh, actually, there is in the corner over there, all the way back around. <laughs> I hope that the solution isn't hidden in there, because that would be an absolute pain to get back to. Yeah. Uh... Uh, oh, those are... Those are burnt braces, not burnt bodies. <laughs> There's really nothing else up here except for this box. I'm guessing you're not going to do anything? Nope. Hmm. There must be something with those boxes. They wouldn't be hidden away like that 
otherwise. Also, uh, someone got uh, squashed at that point. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah. Actually, it would probably be smarter of me to, yeah, to jump at the start of these. That wasn't what I was doing. I was. I've, I've already forgotten again because it just annoyed me to hell and back. Okay. Thank you for the flashback of a song I listened not long ago. <laughs> just um, a few mi minutes ago, even. <laughs> okay. Sabaton from, he from hell and back. <laughs> yeah, good song. Oh, yeah. And I was the one with the... The War of the Free Armies uh, as a music video to it. Debate that one. Anyway, hello. Oh, we missed this. Guard against the worm. What? Okay. Steep Rin Towers. Residents of the council members and military leaders. Okay. Access to treasure chambers and map rooms is only possible using the official code. Plan of evacuation measures for Helma Towers. We check that one. The moon has four faces. Old One's conference rooms on the lowered floor. So we got nothing out of this. Hmm. But well, there might be clues though. Yeah, there's a bit over there that I didn't explore, but. Uh hmm. At the end, no wait. This is that this room. There's no need to go look in there. Hmm. But yeah, since I had to redo all the all of Shark Town and such, uh, I did buy some. I did yeah. I did buy a bunch of extra potions since well, gold should be useless after this point. But that'll be the only difference. Otherwise, I believe. But, uh, hello. Creator from chaos. Uh, okay. I completely missed. <clears throat> I completely missed that that would happen if you got close to them. I, I thought they were just decorations. Hmm. The moon has four faces. Maybe, maybe there's one that is close to the puzzle. And okay, this one, that spawn point seems to have stopped. Okay. Hmm. So we just need to keep an eye out for one of those stone faces and it might give us the solution that we're looking for. Almost walked into the cliff, on into the chasm. Mm, uh. Come on. Yeah, and that does respawn. I, I, I don't know why those tra crush traps specifically outright just kill us back to the loading screen, but oh well. There we go. Now, keep an eye out for those stone faces. Swap this one back. And yeah, you can just use the arrow keys to move that, uh, move the wheels around as well. Uh, maybe that blood stain is from how often Melvin has respawned there or something. Uh, 
Okay, where is the water. bloody... Want to show water? Hmm. There has to be something somewhere in here to give a hint at the solution. Yeah, for us, that room is just very out of place. No, it it kind of feels like the corpse is all a clue, but... A extremely vague one. Yeah, like... It feels like it's, it's a two-part clue. We're not really able to figure this out without the second clue. I think hope is all meant for something, we just don't know the combination. I'll try one more bit with this. Um, maybe we need to have all the pieces be connected somehow. But, hmm. I'm guessing not diagonally then. Unless they wanted to remove every away from carpets? Then well, most of the blocks were away from the carpets already, so I don't see... Hmm. This is me just being stupid. No, a straight line doesn't work because there's too many blocks for that. Hmm. Like, copying this would make sense because it would cover every bit, except, no, it wouldn't cover this bit here. Hmm. Where is that speedrunner when we need him? <laughs> or her. We don't always say him or her, actually. That's... Order from Chaos. Could that be the... Wait. I'm getting a bit of an oh. idea all of a sudden. These are not normal boxes, are they? Yeah, these are indestructible. But what they are is chaotic. So what if we push all of these boxes back in to make it less chaotic? Yeah, I was just... Yes, that's right, but... Didn't you just push a box inside another box? No, I pushed right. one into a corner of some. All right, maybe let me saw it then. Actually, I think I get it now. It is, we were supposed to mirror, but on this side. Because these six over here match up with this. And we have a bit over here that matches with this. Okay, and then over here, we finish off this bit. And then we have these blocks to do the same to that there, and this bit as well. Okay, that, that was a rather vague one, but I think we figured it out. Yeah, it just uh, took a while. Emphasis on think, though. <laughs> Can't say I've had a. I can't say I remember a puzzle like this. Or at least like this with uh, this amount of vagueness. I get the feeling this might have been a point where a lot of people got stuck. I'm frustrated. 
Uh, I was about to look up the uh, solution, but I think we have it now. There we go. Yeah, I was curious the other ones to look up. Oh. Wait, come back! <laughs> and also, whose idea was that? As a system to make that thing work? Someone with too much time on their hands. So, probably an engineer. I knew a few engineers. We tell them you two said that. <laughs> uh, I can expect death traps in the mail now, don't I? Well, one of them is in the Air Force, so... <laughs> okay, just wait for that thing to come back. And there we go. That, that was a sneaky one, and hello. Uh, well, you can all guess what's to come now. So, uh, if you do if you do suffer from epilep epilepsy or otherwise can't handle flashing no lights, uh, look away for the coming 10 seconds or so. And the three, two, one. was the punishment meted out to the traitor Dagomar back then. To be locked in alive. A terrible but just penalty. But how in the world did he get out of there? It seems this white crystal also controls the stasis field imprisoning Dagomar. I thought I had all the crystals for the shield generator. The detour over the volcano has more than paid off. I'm just worried about Talus. If I only knew where Dagomar has taken her... What does he want with her, other than to blackmail me? And why does he need me? He's an old one himself, who can understand and operate all their machines. He could have simply taken all the crystals from me long ago. Then he would have controlled not only the shield generator, but the good and evil in Gothos. I must consult Archon urgently. He is sure to know more about this. But first, I have to find a way out of here. Okay, a bit of a snaggle, because Melvin didn't know about uh, Dago Mars' betrayal. So, I guess I guess we were supposed to walk back to him and go talk to him, which, on second thought, I probably should have done. Wait, could you even? Uh, good point there, yeah. I, do, I don't agree. Yeah, for... Okay, we've got a bit of a plot point, a yeah, plot hole then. Yeah, for... I recall that the... Uh... You, you tried accidentally to try to leave the city, but then the Gorio said no one leaves the city. Yeah, I think we might have been able to return before that. Maybe we were on a... Hmm. Maybe there was some point where we could jump down back into there, but we must have overlooked or missed it, or just not had any interest to. But yeah, if, if we couldn't find our way back, then that's a plot hole as to how Melvin knows about what happened. Yeah, that or a bit of oversight to allow the player to accidentally skip a major important story bit. Oh, uh, hello. Oh. I, I think, I think the Gouda machine is broken. So much Gouda. Uh, I don't think that's Gouda or Gouda as would be the accurate, well, Pronunciation in Dutch, uh, hello. By the valve of the great steam engine, this dragon must be gigantic. I'm not sure if that's a dragon or a big ass centipede or worm. By the valve of the great steam engine. Also, how do you it's... even know those exclamation points? Did you pick them up in Steam or in your town? I learned from his photos on but wait. Is that the Lindworm? That Melvin didn't know, we had never met his father before he got there. Hello. 
It's the Lindworm. Or the weir the worm? The Lindworm, the Lindworm. It huh? What was that? A living thing? It Melvin, you poked its sides twice by now. Whatever it I, is, uh, it's big enough to swallow Melvin whole. Yeah, I feel like the translation team may have made several bad jobs in this game. Yeah. Uh, there's a... What the... Oh, there dear. There he is again. And one of these hellhounds again. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Imagine what would have happened if we hadn't put all of our coins into strength and constitution. With them taking this amount of damage already, we even when <laughs> they, they need three hits without a critical hit. Let's see. Follow down the moon's course and pace out the seven signs. Take a turn into account that full moon must be direct. Uh, must the direction yield? Walk towards nine symbols. Do not break the cycle, and the doors will open. Okay. There are moons on the walls. Yeah. Let's see. The lunar cycle. Hmm. Oh, they're also here. Hmm. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. Hmm. Or is it the other way around? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're doing something wrong here. Or am I supposed to not just walk to in a... Oh. This, lunar's, this image of the lunar cycle doesn't really make sense to me. Or... Hmm. No, it doesn't. It... Or... Wait. Let's leave it be for the moment, unless... It, it is required. It's... Pace out the seven signs. At full moon, must the direction yield. Walks towards. Okay, so we need to turn on the full moon. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you boosted it for you walked over it twice. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, no. Wait, what? Did I just did I just miss one at one point? 
baby. So, that was the answer. Interesting. Okay, I'll just leave that up to me failing to move on over one specific one. <laughs> okay. Yep, that was a bad idea. Almost fell. Uh, okay, that leaves us to this opening. I don't even want to think of how that stuff must smell. Oh, and... Well, that's a clear sign that we're at the end here. Which should mean that there's only... Oh, one level left. Ow. That thing actually looks good. Okay, okay, we can jump over that. Okay, I have to say this. This looks like the best boss model as of yet. Yeah, it actually. Ooh, ow. Oh, come on! Traps at the side as well. Fine, just. Button has our way through this thing. Oh wait, that that's not a, that's that's its side. It it can spit fire from its side. Ooh. And that's it gone. Right, that's it. Yep. It, oh come on, even the music gets cut short. <laughs> uh, oh well. Another spell? I wonder how many powerful magicians must have lived here that their magic is still around today. The spell will be useful in any case. Let's see now. Terrific! It triggers an earthquake with rockfalls and everything. That'll be handy when I have to fight several of those foul creatures at once. And suddenly Melvin is a walking natural disaster. Earthquake. Earth tremors and falling rocks. Yeah, that'll deal with any uh, mobs that we run across. I probably should have saved it for this, because I thought it was only two there. It wouldn't oh. make sense for a lot of mods to come now who have a, a reason to test it. Okay, we still have plenty of potions of every kind. Now, did I see a different way here? Yes. I, I'm kind of surprised that that boss was... Was that boss the easiest boss so far? Mm, well, probably mostly because we were just completely wailing at it with the axe and, <laughs> and the meteor spell. Yeah, like... It, all the bosses we took, took a bit longer time to feed. But this one... Yeah. That one was... Okay, that's oddly just quick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke now. <clears throat> okay, so that's a little dead end. Only some fodder for experience. Speaking of... Okay, 80%. So we're going to get a level soon enough again. For now, though, we still need to find our way out. What strange signs there are on this wall here. Okay. Yeah, those are obvious enough for me to note down. So... 87 question mark? Uh, let's see. T -t -t pen, pen. I, I moved all of my pens down, it seems. Uh, hmm. Okay, give me a second. I knew I had a packet of spare pens around here. So, yeah, pop this open, and there we go. Now, let's see. This one is like a figure eight. Uh, starting there. 
Then some sort of seven. And yeah, a question mark. Okay. Let's see how useful that will be then. Hmm. Okay, uh, also a small thing, I've ordered some new parts for my computer, a motherboard and CPU. Uh, oh, no, hello, again. What strange signs there Hmm. Uh, those should be arriving on Friday. So, yeah, by Sunday I hope to have them installed. Uh, hopefully without too much hassle. And that should that should make games run more smoothly for me, and hopefully, you know, th this will be a bonus. But I should also be able to r run games at a higher quality, graphical quality, then as well. Since yeah, my current GPU should be more than plenty for most games. I say as I almost walk off the ledge, or at least most games that I have an interest in streaming, like. The most graphically demanding for now is going to be, is likely going to be Vermintide 2 when we get through that eventually. Um, but yeah, that should work well enough. There was something else I think I just thought of, but I've forgotten. Or by distracting myself. Um, what might it have been? What might that have been? Um, there's also this. This isn't really much a big thing. Of, okay, this is a four one. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about opening up most of the week for potential streaming. Uh, because yeah, things are going to be way random. Hmm. Which when I will and will not be able to stream, but I will keep. Uh, I will keep. <laughs> uh, forgot this one almost. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm not going. I'm probably not going to stream too many times. Uh, <clears throat> in one or well, after each other, so it won't be that I'll be suddenly streaming four times in a row. Yeah, this is definitely going to be some sort of locking me mechanism. Yep. Uh, hello. There are still traces of a blue mana crystal on it. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait! You forget the what's on behind you? Yeah, this one here. Uh, let's see. This all oh, yeah. L three stripes. I can read this. Hmm. Late. What was it to say? Late. Okay. L E eight. Late. <laughs> Is that how mm. you speak lead? <laughs> okay. Both uh, people. So... I hate lead. Yeah, it is rather dumb and hello. I've broken off a piece of mana crystal. Okay. Yeah, and I I think my biggest problem is some people took for granted that every g people they play games speak lead. Yeah. That's like expecting everyone on the planet to speak English when there are a lot of people who don't. Yeah, no, lead is a bit more cringe worth, I say. Hmm. Okay, so it's not unlocking mechanism. Or some sort of down like oh hello. Ah, yeah, this is that map. I think. Yeah, I th oh, hmm. that must be the map. Uh, how it looked like before the eruption. Yep. Uh, uh, hello? I am the guardian of the great map of Galdos. If you want to access the map, you must answer the following questions. Okay. Are we immortal? Are we masters of magic? Are we divine beings? Do we tolerate people who think differently to us? 
Hopefully. Would you give your life for the good of others? Can one be happy without worldly possessions? You have answered the questions correctly and proved yourself to be a true <laughs> old one of high rank. You now have access to the map of Gothos. The map is a mirror of the world of Gothos as it looks now. Uh, give or take a few inaccuracies. Where is that going to get fixed now? Okay, so... <laughs> so they have some sort of magic satellite up in the sky or something. Probably not, but... Wait, hold just on, hold on. Technology. Let's take a look. It didn't change much, but... That is new. That one was not there. Yep. And I think there was a, a part here. But, yep. yeah, this is Gothos. A bit small, Ooh. isn't it? What was the island we were on now? Nope, that's all over here. Wait. Hmm. That must mean that the island is extremely new. Yep. Probably. Hmm. So, wait, that, no, that, that, wait, that, that, no. that can't make sense for they made a city there. So, would that already been there? Uh, might be that we're, might be that we missed a bit, but yeah, you're right. It, or maybe, maybe the volcano was a lot more. Well, it was a lot more dormant in that age, so it was a lot. Might have been a lot smaller. Or, or there has been enough time, or enough time has passed since uh, the old ones were around, and well, current days in the game. That there's actually been some continental drift in that this drifted away. Actually, it does seem like it would fit in here. Looks more like a island that got created from the volcano. For islands are created from volcanoes very often. Aye. No, then. Ow! That was obviously not the thing to do. But, oh! The symbols. Yep, we just need to find uh, whatever the hell symbols we need to use. I think I've made a complete muddle of everything. I think I've made a complete... Okay, so we need to turn it back off. I think I've made a complete... Mu oh, so we... You need to reset it? Yes. <laughs> now find Helma Taros, the city of light on the map. Okay. Hmm. I think yes, it means I've made it. a okay. There's a reset button. Is there a reset button here somewhere then? Hmm. Wait. I think it's each one is their own thing. What do we have here? Oh. Where's Talus? You haven't been able to find her then? Oh, Archon, that means Dagomar has probably taken her to Helmataros. We must go there. I have also learned some interesting things from the Shah. I'm now convinced that Dagomar really is the traitor from the past who wants to seize power again. I don't understand how he managed to survive for so long. Well, he was what? locked into stasis, so... Uh that dialogue was a mess, and yeah, mm. he was in uh, stasis. And yeah, I'm guessing we were, we would have been able to get back to Archon somehow, but we just missed it. Yeah, the, I feel like we should be encouraged to return to him, for we never were encouraged to do that. Well, we could have taken that encouragement on our own, but oh well. What do you have to say yeah, for but... yourself? Melvin. I'm very glad to see you back in one piece. We've been separated for such a long time. I am sorry to say that I haven't found anything. But during my exploratory flights, 
I made some interesting observations. The volcanic peninsula is much smaller today than it once was. If my memory serves me, this is just part of it. The volcano must have erupted at some time, or perhaps there was a huge earthquake and a section of the peninsula split off and now lies somewhere in the ocean northeast of here. But I haven't discovered it yet. The only things to be seen are ocean waves and thick mist clouds. What are you suggesting? That Helma Taurus has been spirited away? That can't be, because you were right in thinking that part of Helma Taurus lay here. In fact, under what is now Schach Town, I found not only a terrible dragon, but lots of old one chambers. They were probably used for security purposes by council members and military leaders. There were a few books and riddles which must have served as protective mechanisms. To top it all, I found another crystal of eternity when I was convinced I had them all. This one is white, and by the look of it, was used to control the stasis field on the shield generator in which Dagomar was imprisoned. Something on the shield generator must have malfunctioned, so Dagomar was able to get free. It doesn't really explain no, how the crystal got everywhere. The shield generator itself cannot break down. It was the crowning glory of the old one's science and art. The most brilliant minds and the best engineers created it. It was made perfect for eternity and should still be, but for the fact that the crystals of eternity were distributed throughout Gothos, and that Dagomar is free. Ha! Now I know what must have happened. Eternity is the key word. Eternity must have stopped. In Helma Taros, there is a clock of eternity, which is linked to the shield generator. If the clock of eternity were tampered with or stopped striking, then all the magical machines the Old Ones ever created in Helma Taros would cease functioning. Many things are now becoming clear to me. That's how it must have been. Another reason for finding the City of Light as soon as possible, or Gothos is doomed. So, we read of this clock before, but their bright idea was really linking their perfect machine to an uh, infallible clock, or in, in yeah. to a fallible clock. Really, and also, I thought there's no thing more more what's going on here. Hmm? This is not sound like they speak to each other. It sounds more like they give each other letters. <laughs> that must be it. You're right. It all sounds very plausible to me. How lucky for me, Archon, that I have you as a wise counselor from the past. I also learned something in the underground chambers about a clock of eternity in the City of Light. Only I didn't know what to make of it. It was said that if eternity were ever to end, the City of Light would be hidden by the tears of heaven. Could it be mm -hmm. that the mist you saw had something to do with that? I think we must have missed that bit then. Of course. Remember that. Helma Taros disappeared into the clouds and mist. There must be a Wait, clue what? somewhere as to where and how these tears of heaven came about, and how we can deal with them. Have you seen anything like it? Think! You saw a world map with mist on it? That must be it. Go back to the map again. Look at it carefully. The mist must provide a clue as to the location of Helma Taros. Perhaps you have to do something else with the map. We must know where the island is now. I'll wait here for you. Good luck. So that's what we're to do. And hello there in the chat noon. <laughs> we are towards the, well, we're at the end of this level, the second to last one, if my memory is correct. And yeah, there's a lot of mist over here. It looked just like a big ass cloud. It, the, this place is cloudy. Hmm. But yeah, we need to. Uh, we already fought a boss here, a rather easy one, with, well, a combination of axe and uh, meteor. Well, not meteor, but that was. That was Don't earthquake. <laughs> but it got taken care of quickly, but now we have to deal with the freaking puzzle as the actual end boss. Now, how do we reset this stupid thing, then? I think I've made a complete... M the puzzle is the... This is me, you king. Hmm. 
No, it's looking like it. And why can those two light up like... Oh, that's that's how to reset, I think. Okay. Then, yeah, we need... I think we're going to need to decipher the ancient's language a bit then. Or at least their writing yeah, it... language. What the heck? Oh, dear. Noon has gone full roar gargura. <laughs> oh, no! I don't know how she pronounce it. Uh, let's see. Runes? Okay. Wait, oh, some of the runes are important. Hmm. Oh, hello. Is it? Wait. I think Wait. it's a sequence. Yeah, I think we need to talk to all the runes for them to register on the no, map. I don't think that's it. What strange signs there are. But I think... Uh, let's see. Let me double these up to make it more clear. I think Negative. this one is the end of it. So, let's see. And then we have slash and question mark. I think we need to slap these together to make a full sequence. Can we even get back up there? Yes, we can. Okay. The runes are important enough to get marked. Okay, that's the first one that we found. With the end, seven, and question mark. Okay, if there are a sequence um, oh, that needs oh. to be stuck together... <laughs> it was too easy. What did you clip? Let's see. If there is a sequence that needs to be s s connected together, we need to find where they overlap. You know the... Uh, uh, Noon, are you joking with us or are you actually giving us the answer? Or you're telling us to do a blue blaster like Gabobon upon it? Okay, then we have this here. Uh, I did... Okay, I did have this one noted. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think this is the start. So let me write this down. We have the scepter. And we have that odd art piece, I'll call it. Then the sword. That's the start of it, I think. We have this one that I noted down. Then we need to find which piece starts with the sword. Uh, underline that. Okay, sword, then the partial plus and the stick. Which reappear there, okay. Then the wedge with the circle in it that's loose. Um, and the angled what's L. What's happening to your model? Hmm? I'm looking down whilst noting all of this. Uh, More, you, you're moving a bit odd, like kind of almost like a puppet up and down, rather stiffly. Okay. Uh, that one. Then we have the seven and the question mark. And finally, the dash, sideways dashes. Okay. Let's see if this works. So we are looking for the scepter. Not that, not that. This one's the last one. Uh, here we go. Yes. Then the, this one. I'll call it the axe for now. The sword. Who's gonna turn it to me? And this one. 
I'm pretty sure I've prob I probably used cheats to get past this when I played this game as a kid. Let's see, the circle and wedge. Yep. No one hasn't complained at us yet that he screwed it up. So I'm think this I think this is the solution. Okay, the, the three stripes. The end. This is here or the eight. Then the seven. Uh, seven was in this corner. Question mark and the dashes. Which were here. There we go. Hi. What the? Okay. Oh, I, I remember now what. You have found the City of Light. Your path should take you to Helma Taros, the City of Light. And isn't this supposed to be in Helma Taros? It's supposed to be a part of it, yes. But why is the map <laughs> to the place in the place? Oh well. We've got our bag of weeds. Let's get out of here. Did you see the island on the map appear? Not... <laughs> and a bag of stardust too? That's it! Now we have everything we need to make Helma Taros appear out of the mists. But don't forget, Mel, that Dagomar must on no account get his hands on the crystals. And especially now he has Talus in his power, or he will turn our advantage to his. Do you understand? Yes, yes. Of course I understand. He will never get the Crystals of Eternity because I will personally place them back in the shield generator. I swear by the steamer honor of my father and the love of my mother. But enough good intentions. Why are we still standing around here? After all, we have everything we need to save Gothas. Come on, let's get going now. To reawaken Eternity and to save Talus. Come on! And this th question still remains, how the hell did the clock fail in the first place? Yeah. Also, you look a lot bigger <laughs> in these cinematics, <laughs> the Archon. It looks way better, even. Mm. Well, that's totally not obvious. Careful, Melvin. I think uh, I think Tinkerbell is a bit Sue happy. Oh no! D d okay, th Wait. <laughs> those are big. Someone what what great people are riding them? I overlooked that bit. But yeah, here we are. This should be the final level Helma of the game. Taros. I'm proud of our achievement, Archon. Now I'm nearing the goal of my mission. The reception we got was in stark contrast to the beautiful surroundings. And I assume that Dagumar still has a few little surprises in store for us. I'm expecting to meet him sooner or later anyway. However, the main thing is that I can free Talus. Now we must find the shield generator and the clock of eternity. Well, let's not waste any time. Uh, let's start by wasting some time. Well, yes, Mel. I agree with you about everything. But unfortunately, I can't accompany you any further. There is a region around the palace of Taros Vinta from which dragons are banned. It happened long ago to prevent any of us attacking the palace from the air. Within a radius of five shach miles of the palace, I'll be paralyzed if I venture even a wingtip too far. So I'll have to put you down here on this little island. You'll have to enter the banishment circle alone. The ban won't affect you as Technomage, but promise me you'll be careful anyway. 
As I said, not only Dagomar, but also your ancestors have thought of a few ways to protect this central seat of power. Be careful, Mel. Protect the crystals and fulfill your mission as savior of Gothos. I will wait here for you, and for Talus. I hope, or for the end of Gothos. Now go. Okay, so that's how they explain why they don't, why we don't just fly in and napalm the, the place from the, from the air. Yeah, this is good that they actually explain why. But now, uh, still annoys me. Now that I'm fairly to realize many of the dialogues, Rita at the main dialogues are so odd. It's due to it. They have written like they were sent by mail to each other. <laughs> Okay, and it looks like we'll have need of these finally again, as Melvin has dear. a bit of a as Melvin has a bit of an attack in there. Oh dear! But yeah, uh, uh, think about it. Do you agree with me if you think about it here a little bit? Well, a lot of the dialogue we've seen so far. Yeah, they can. I think it might be something in the engine in that they can't have. Yeah, have them talk with each other back and forth, really, so they really just have to <laughs> throw everything out. As, yeah. Uh, yeah, in as much as possible. There we go. Yeah, okay. a, a bit a bit bad design, for it really comes off awkward. And it looks like we'll be having turtles for <laughs> moving platforms here. Okay, let's get on when it's still busy. Either we were just in time with that, or it's programmed to only start moving once we get onto it. If it's gonna mean to ride a turtle like that. Yeah. <clears throat> then again, I've seen worse, like... Like some dudes... Jumping at a manatee and record it and put it on YouTube. Uh, you, know, you want to know what happened later? Uh, something bad to either the manatee or them, or both. But do they go to post on YouTube? The police knew exactly who they were. Yeah, that, that's something that those idiots never <laughs> seem to realize, huh? Yeah, they put uh. the photo. They put the, they filmed the full incident, each other, all the faces as they jumped on the manatee in a. Feet first and all. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Yeah, they they, they went to Yale. Uh, let's see. Is this where we started? Let's see. The only thing that would make that scenario better is the man he was able to witness. <laughs> uh, we call to the stand the manatee drags in the fish tank. <laughs> Uh, don't don't torment animals, people. Don't, be, be, respect animals, play. And but like, you are all allowed to pat the manatee and all that, but don't jump on them. Yeah. Come on, I got the fish. There we go. It, it looks like we tore the fish in half. And okay, it, it does it does start moving once we uh, once once we get onto its back. Okay. Uh, also, I'm a bit late with this, but uh, uh, how are you? Yeah, how are you doing, Noon? Hope uh, hoping well. Uh, let's see if we can take multiple of these fish. Yes, we can. Okay, that's going to speed things up a bit. Wait. Hold on. Hmm? Are you honking fish with an axe? Yep. <laughs> there we go. This is the one that we need. Oh, good afternoon. Let's see. Sculpture 3D printing. Okay, so you got a you got a 3D printer. 
or do you do you get them made by someone else? Okay, one ride, one passenger only. One hundred and fifty-six. Okay. Uh, there we go. He's octopus. Uh, oct octopi. Octopi is the accurate term, I believe. They're going to be annoying. Oh. Okay, to help. Okay, what the hell are you? Other than gaudy. Missed that. Yeah, some sort of a spellcaster. Okay, I, I just checked there for a moment because um, on the volcano this time I actually found eight geodes. So I just was just thinking, did they uh, screw it? Did they perhaps leave me one of those in my inventory? But no. See, from noon, I have three. No, oh. already right, misread that. Uh, from noon, I have three D printed two to be exact. Uh, Lucky you. But I will have. A friend to do the printing so I do not have to deal with the chemicals and cleaning stuff. He will send it to another friend for painting as well. Okay. Alright. And what sort of stuff are you getting printed? Hmm. A fairy goat? <laughs> Actually... Uh... On those? They looked insectoid. Yeah. Wait. Were those the riders or the mosquito things? Probably. Okay, now we're on a bigger island. There was a smaller one that we could have gone to, but... Yeah, let's just not for the moment. If yeah, there's something yeah. on there that we need, we can go back here. I don't think those were octopus you were killing there. Hmm. Uh, what then? Uh, the octo is eight, so what will be five? Uh, uh, actually, I think they only have first? four tentacles. So. Quadipus? <laughs> yeah. They make the exact same noise as the stupid spiders. Yes, that's blocked oh, off. Okay. So. Move for noon. You can read if you want. Uh, my D&D character and three fan characters. Yet at some point in the future, the fairy goat drawing will be turned into a 3D figurine. <laughs> Yay! Uh, yeah, it's adorable. Noon has a, an, an avatar like that. He's... Well, no, to my knowledge, he, he doesn't VTube himself, but uh, <laughs> it would be <laughs> curious, I'll say, if he did well, or started to. Uh, okay, this is my prediction if he started VTubing with that kind of a character. The hell? Everyone would have hugged him. Non stop. Yeah, if he ever makes it big, he could make a, a plushie. <laughs> oh dear. What's this? This basin looks like a feeding place for birds. Perhaps I should give the parrot a treat. Yeah, what parrots? Oh! oh. oh. Moon has made an avatar. Okay. Oh. 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 No, if you if, yeah, if you stream as well, uh, just put a link up on the Discord as well. City. That's an original name. But it's not for me. I did as fan art. Okay. Oh, that's the parrot. Oh. It, okay. Uh, Aztec mofos. 
What are these clay golems or something? Clay. Sap. Herb. Herb. Ah. Weird herb. Yeah. It looked like a. It looked like clay golems, but it summoned them from the sand. So it could be a wet sand golem? Mm, maybe. They did die pretty easily. Yeah. No. Actually, that would make sense, and um, wet sand is heavier. Flat! Uh, rude? This statue has remarkably large ears. I would like to try whispering something into one of those big stone ears, but I can't get close enough to them on my own. Okay, so we need to teach the... We need to use the parrot to uh, open up the door. Afternoon. I'm currently turning my D&D sculpture into a YouTube... Pardon? VTube like an avatar. City. City. All right. <laughs> okay. Did he just call us two city boars? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I do live in the city. city. I live in a small city. <laughs> Do you have a death witch parrot? <laughs> Wait, I recognize that. Is that the same parrot as the parrot next to you? Uh, this one has green as the middle color, not a uh, yellow like Polly there. Hmm. And, okay, the parrot is just going to keep following me around, huh? Country. Let's see. Are we really... <laughs> Did they really design the security system here to work vocally with parrots? I, th I think Meteor might be more powerful since it's more directed with the damage. So, let's swap back to it for a moment. I say, this is a bit unique for... Usually when people make fantasy Aztecs in Gansat, it's usually humans or lizardmen or sometimes frogmen. Like, yeah, early Warhammer fantasy, there were no lizardmen, just Salon. Like, there were all their Salons so they could actually walk before they got rewritten. But here we have bugs instead. And yeah, and a I big ape that's... <laughs> okay, now I see what's going on. A photo's ape had four arms. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit of a odd animation. Berries? I pluck... Yes, I can pluck multiple. 13 berries. Okay. Uh, that sign was over here ish. Dude, I, have, I haven't eaten berries in years. Uh, let's see. Yes, this platform, there's something here in the middle that we're overlooking, I think. Uh, oh, more monkeys. Yeah, I think a directed 150-ish damage would probably do better than a, an Earthquake that deals about 50 or 100. And, okay, that's blocked off. Um, but yeah, uh, Noon having a 3D printer, or uh, also knowing someone Ooh. with a printer, and that they, actually they reminds two. me... Hmm? They have two. Okay. Uh, that actually reminds me that we Country. have the idea... We had the idea. We had the idea of uh, printing some three D stuff from some of the games that we uh, streamed. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, oh yeah. brother, what was the game name again? Uh, Impossible creatures. Uh, I do yes, have the three D model of that. Yeah, of our uh, Wololo is <laughs> still in there. Uh, uh, somewhere. Wololo. Wololo. 
Uh, something like that. Wolf and uh, porcupine. Yeah. Ooh, more monkeys. A lot more monkeys. They look like baboons, but they don't sound like baboons. More of them. But, yeah, uh... Yep. Uh, what's this here? Fly! Okay. Uh... Yeah, if, if Noon be willing, then uh, we could... Uh, Fly! I should have done that earlier. Uh, we could see about... Fly. Uh, we could see about me having some of those uh, statues made. Uh, I'll pay, of course, for any materials and uh, stuff. Can. Fly can, okay. You better send them carrot as well, Helian. <laughs> Fly! Okay, that's not correct here. So it must be this can. one. City can fly? Boars? What? Can! No. Hmm. Okay, do we need a different sound then? It's, oh, there's another one here. You. Oh, okay, I see. We need to tell it. You. You! We need to tell it the sentence in order. See, they can fly, you boar? <laughs> no. Or something like that? Uh, you! That, that boar was just it making uh, an extra noise. Like bra. Uh, like just parrot noises. Did you say bra? Fly. <laughs> Did you just uh, play, fail to say call? Yeah. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Yes. Can. Can. Yeah, I don't know too much about uh, 3D printing, so I'll defer Can. to your knowledge. Uh, let's see. This one here. Fly. Fly! And well, that should open up the door. The, ain't resin the metal stuff? No, resin is a... Uh, uh, like a sort of glue. Fly! A uh, plastic of... Uh, hmm... I'm... I'm blanking on something with this here. Okay, and now the parrot leaves us alone. Okay. Proto Baltic resin. What's this? No idea what that is. Never heard that word. It doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment. Stop trying to break the puzzles in frustration, Ilium. <laughs> it <laughs> looks <is> like you. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Oh, oh hello. Oh, ow. Uh, it, the interaction bits are finicky, so that's why it looks like I'm having anger issues every time with that. Yeah, but it, it looks so often like you're taking out your frustration on puzzles. Dude, again, you usually do have uh, some meltdowns almost with some. Uh, meltdowns, I wouldn't say, but more just getting really annoyed. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, it's a liquid that reacts to UV light. Okay. It uh, turns into plastic-like material. Plastic-like. Did something... Oh. Uh, yeah, something is shooting at us. Uh... Wait. It... Wait, is this the rest they used to make Warhammer figures? The official ones? Or is it uh, something else? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I forget I get that. Game Workshop, your plastic, while Forge World says they will price your models in that uh, resin. But I keep hearing people say Forge World models are always made of uh, resin. 
There we go, get rid of that. <coughs> oh, there's another I one over there. I think people prefer the rest in the plastic more than whatever metal they use to do use for some warmer figures. So I say this right away. Good luck painting teen, teen Warhammer figures. Unless you have the correct type of spray paint. And I have painted some Warhammer figures that are made of uh, that some sort of metal. It's a pain to paint. Let's see. Oh, can I destroy these things up here? No, I can't. Okay. And this little thing is still shooting at... Okay, I can't destroy it with spells, but I can sneak up on it somewhat. Uh... Maybe a break? I'm at the boxes. Yeah, uh, they, they weren't the breakable type. When it it looks like some have the breakable parts within, but they we can't break them in a stack. Hmm. Okay. All right. Do we have to get through all of this without being spotted at all? Wait. Oh. Okay, I see. So, resin is like... Okay, yeah, I get it's a... Light plastic, but it sounds like the way you scream do it, that it's... Just as annoying as painting metal. Three layers of foundation. Yeah. Well, at least it's better than metal for... Bloody heck, the metal I painted when you need like five or six layers. Which eventually uh, just fell off. I'll just stay out of this discussion because I know next to nothing about, uh, yeah, painting models and such. Hmm. Well, I can say this: dropping a lead dinosaur on your foot hurts. <laughs> okay. I think this is supposed to heal us, but it doesn't seem to be doing its job. Hmm. Oh well, let's see if we can get through this without being spotted. And we immediately get spotted. Hmm. Oh, no, what, what possible metal is they use? We have plastic, we have resin. Now I kind of wonder what metal they use or used past for I know people hated that one hmm. I'm sure it was uh, I don't know if it was let us it was bendable uh, now, come on uh, hmm. uh, what okay. the heck yeah, we got spotted at the very last second, so I think it's put up that gate. I don't know. Is resin a bit more expensive material, by the way, Noon? Anything else up here that we can screw with? Or is it just a material that works better with 3D printing? It's a dead end here. Yeah, it, it works. It works well with 3D printing, from what I've heard. Hmm. Right. Let's see. Well, mo most all of the stuff that's 3D printed, I think, is uh, made with resin. Ah, do I hear for a leader with resin? What the heck is you? Oh, you mean Euro? Or oh, oh. I'm dirt there. Okay, let's give this one more shot. A if the belly is still off, it. Yep. That sounds quite a lot. 
or is that? Oh wait, maybe that's maybe not a lot, but that's some uh, some. Uh, a, a leader is still quite a lot of stuff. It's, uh, let's see, what was it again? Uh, it's still up. Okay. But is it like a quarter of a... Wait, am I about to trick myself here? Does Nilk usually come in... Uh... Four liters. Uh, what come? Milk. Milk is one liter typically, or at least over here, or half oh, liters. Right, then, then I'm derping here. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was four. Then, so, yeah, right. what Noon says right there. Okay, where is the off button then? Ah, okay, okay, I see, I see. Oh, that's gonna... handy? It, then, it yeah, can. actually, yeah, then uh, 25 euro for uh, one liter of that is... Okay, yeah, I can see why people prefer to do one figure that way for... That sounds way cheaper! Yeah, instantly we get spotted there again. Okay, I, I don't know what we need to do to turn off that barrier. Can we get a glimpse from here to see if it's on or not? Wait, 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 wait. That's bamboo. You have yeah. axe. It's also the map barrier. Oh. Or not the map barrier, it's a barrier. Yeah, normally we would have been able to cut through that. Hmm. Is there anything on... It's the only thing that's marked here is the healing well, which isn't healing. So it's not doing its job very well. Unless you broke it. Let, let's see if we can get to it again. Maybe that switch next to the healing well turned off the barrier. Hmm. If it's still on, then we'll do a quick look at to what the hell is actually going on. Okay, what? Hmm. Okay, what do we need to do to get that to turn off then? We can't get onto this upper area because it's blocked by boxes there. And I'm not seeing any switches or such of any kind. And it's it's a hell of a distance away to get this bit of map to reload. So we're definitely not doing that. Hmm. I'm it missing like something. Some breakable boxes. Uh, only in stacks. So indestructible. Okay, maybe we need to take a look closer look to see if we miss something with the boxes. And if we had one that we could move around, we could. Uh, jump over, but no. Hmm. But maybe, maybe we can fly over it. Can't attack the cameras. Wait, hmm. hold on. Maybe you can use earthquake on the boxes. I doubt that, but let's try it. Again, they're in a stack, so we can't break them. See? I was hoping maybe the, the earthquake was a way to do uh, get past mm. that. Okay, let me t let me take a look uh, look something up because I think either we're completely missing something or the game is being unclear again. Yeah, like, we haven't really been having clues. Second Mage, Return of Eternity. Ruins. 
Okay. Ruins two, no. Let's see. Oh. Okay, it has a page on Steam uh, speedrun.com. Uh, that's not really of use. Okay, walk through. This should work. We should have something in here. Let's see. Let's, uh, finding page. Ruins. Because if I remember correctly, this place is called the Ruins. Which we can check easily like this. Uh. Yeah, the Ruins. Okay. Ruins uh, exterior. Okay. Let's get aims things down a bit more. Uh, let's see. The ruins, okay. Um, interior, no. Okay, exterior. Stock up on berries. Okay, remove that. <laughs> Turn east to the healing well and the, and the lever. The lever turns off the blue defense barrier. But if you are caught by any of the red beams, the barrier will go up again. Okay, equips speed boots. It's also on a timer. Oh, okay. that, that 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 does make sense. But wait, did we try? You did try the speed boots, did you? Not yet here, no. It, if it's on a timer, it doesn't do the ticking. They, they could have had that may be more clear by having it show the uh, barrier deactivate. And, well, if it is on a timer, they should have the ticking. But obviously it doesn't. And is it off now? Now it's off, yeah. Okay. And... Uh... Ah. There we go. We just need to match the symbols. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm? We've seen these before. Now these These look similar to the... Stasis field, or not really the stasis field, but what the crystals of eternity were held into, or were held in. Yeah, like either these are the old one tech, or what the bug people use to contain them. For I'm not surprised if these uh, bug things are allied to Dagamar. Probably, but how the hell would they have gotten all over the place to put the crystals? Maybe thanks hmm. to him. Yeah, something must have happened. Oh, right, no. ah. why, why would he he have them stem them all out when he wants them? Yeah. Uh, my, my idea is that the crystals that we have are some sort of backups or something. Maybe. And this is very obviously going to be something here. So let's note these down as I hide that walkthrough to avoid any other spoilers. Let's see. Circle. Then open. A zigzag. Whatever you'd call this. And then an opening with a connection. And that's that. Okay. Hello there. Ha! At last I found you, Dagomar. I have long since known that you are the traitor Ramogad, and that you kidnapped Talus. 
Are you going to deny it? Who do you think I am, then? Why should I deny anything? I was in prison for more than 100 lifetimes, but still I live. And I am still the only one in this world who really knows how to use power. I have even manipulated eternity, so how do you think you can stop me? I have only used you to bring the crystals of eternity back to where they belong. Now I will take them from you. Take that as a little taster. Oops. Really, you're just going to summon two spirits? <laughs> That or they had some uh, camel tech. I wonder if I need a blue key. Okay, he he could have just zapped us with lightning and killed us right there and then. You mean uh, go full party? Yeah, but well, he did he did lightning strike that ghost in the tower, so he he definitely could have done that to us as well. Oh, there's something that we missed over here. Let's see, is this just extra items? No, no, it's... Hello. Okay, this must be what the floor tiles were for. Uh, let's see. You. Then we need to jump to that one up there. Eh? Why what? Um, then there was the zigzag. That odd one there. Okay, this is an odd puzzle. Yeah, I, I, I don't even see a puzzle like this one. Nope. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, that was the last one. An energy pearl. Okay. Uh, a sort of mini jumping puzzle without any chance of death. <laughs> um, let's see. Unless you die in deeper water. <laughs> uh, but then it's your own fault. But just jumping between the tiles, uh, <laughs> uh, that's safe enough. Unless you somehow fall over and start drowning. <laughs> Okay, well, if they have a death wish... Uh, yeah, they are what indeed the... dying as they meet you. Like, good way to yings them for yourself. Take that and give up, you pseudo-technomage. <laughs> can't... But, they can't even aim their spells correctly. And... Yeah, I, I think Technomage might actually be the correct name of the old species because, yeah, what what people are arrogant enough to call themselves old ones? <laughs> and Sounds more like a profession. Yeah, but and yeah. <laughs> uh, in the flashback of the white of the white crystal, we saw the emblem of the Technomage on uh, Dagomar's hood. Okay. And do you think you have cornered me? What? That's... Those sentences sound a little bit odd. What do you propose? A magic duel? Old one against old one? Don't make me laugh. 
Yes, exactly that. Wait, though, my mentor. You, too, are going to lose your superiority. Look here. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> All right. So much for a duel. Let <laughs> me just dump his ass in a fire pit. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> oh, not that one. This one. <laughs> Is he really that dumb? Oh, a yellow keystone. That, that can't be it. That that just felt awkward. A white keystone, and we got a magic box from this as well. Uh, increases mystic. Okay, we're two levels away from filling up strength and constitution completely, and from the natural. Actually, no, we should have. I think we got we get one point in these each just by na by nature and then we can dis distribute another two so next level we should be able to max out strength and constitution or we just hold off and instead put mysticism to 21 for this bit magically charges weapons that's also kind of handy now let's do that and if we do manage to get another level in the game uh, then we'll have then strength and constitution will max themselves out automatically. Yep. The whole four will be from the ending. Now this is the last level. Uh, okay, there we go. So, hmm, I I have no idea actually. I think there are at least two more zones to this area. All right. So there is still another stream then. Probably. Not uh, three like I had originally thought, but then again, I've overestimated the times a bit in the, in, on other times. Yeah. I have to double check for a uh, look at the clock to see me soon to end the stream. But for Frost, since well, if you're extremely close to the final boss, there might as well just uh, go through it, but if you still. At least one stream worth. Um, now I, can, not, we can I don't think it it'd be a up. full stream. Let, let me take a look at that guide again because it had marked at the start how many areas each level has. Let's see. Ruins. Okay. Beach, exterior. Then we have interior dungeon and another interior. So right. yeah, we could that... finish the game tonight. Wait, Possibly. really? And we'll need to extend it by half an hour to an hour, maybe. All right, that's possible. For yeah, it sounds like it's either that it could be a stream for next time if it takes one hour. Though that would be a rather short stream. Okay, we need to put all of these in to deactivate the fields. No, actually, if you think about it, if it, it like, just example, if you end the stream in 10 minutes, and the remaining game is one hour, that means we could take a day to make a short stream day just to finish it off. Maybe, but I, I think we're about working. to finish this area anyways and move into the temple, or the interior. Hmm. Yeah. And then we'll have oh, finished I, I, two. I'm sure to need a black key. Hmm. hmm. But yeah, I, I'll leave it up to you to decide if it's finish it tonight, or finish the, it, it uh, next time. I say let's give it half an, uh, an hour extra, and then we'll see. And I'm not seeing any extra boxes for that keystone to be in. Yeah. So uh, it wait. might be on the outskirts. Uh, is there a, like, what do you schedule tomorrow? Uh, late. So I, I'm in no danger of oversleeping. Ah, all right. Let's see. Is there... I think that last keystone must be hidden around here somewhere. 
Otherwise, this is just for decoration and experience. We welcome experience, don't we? Yeah, we can always use a bit more of it. So. Let's do that. How many times did it actually cause damage? Let's have a look on the next target. We didn't... One, two... Yeah, it does damage twice. For about 100 total. It would deal... Yeah, it would deal damage to everything on screen. But we don't actually get surrounded by too many enemies that often. So, yeah, this, the Meteor Storm will probably be better. Since it deals more damage. We eating monkey tonight! Hmm. I've never eaten monkey or anything like that, and I don't really have any intention to ever try it. <laughs> Only if I have to. Like, you know, survival situation. Yeah. Okay, no keystone around here. I do not know there's a Chinese dish that is called... I forgot what's called, but I think it's called Monkey Brain something. Not, not, not like the Indian stuff. It had a bit of a different name to it, but it was actually made of pork. Okay. I... I know that... I, I learned this from Tumor Warhammer from a cafe uh, campaign. They are basically in China. Okay. And yeah, they, they apparently got the ogre took to it, and they, yeah, ogres thought it was actually brains, and they, I would not be surprised if the ogres started to hunt monkeys just for it. Okay, where is this blasted keystone? Uh, let's see. India have frozen monkey brains, and I guess the Chinese version was boiled? This was, again, not actual monkey brain, they just call it that. I guess they do something with the pork that looks... turn the pork into looking like a brain. Yeah, uh, like minced um, meats. Uh, yeah, something like that. I, 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 I'm gonna have to look into it. Just to double check that I'm not getting tricked uh, by gaming for uh, or something that might not even exist. <laughs> yeah, that's typically a good idea. Where is this blasted sigil? Or keystone? Do I have to pull one out or something? Cannot even be done? Hmm. Well, when in doubt, send in the goat. <laughs> well, they, they, I, I'm pretty sure uh, dude can uh, bat around down the door. Uh, let's look around a bit more. We've checked all of the back area. And honestly, this doesn't feel as much as a puzzle as uh, an annoying thing that we need to do. Since, well, all the pieces were handed to us. Yeah, th this one is definitely one of those that uh, I'm sure to need a black takes a lot of time. Oh, and there, there's Talus. Can Wait, we actually... What? No, we can't jump on that from to there. Hmm. Okay. Am I just completely missing something obvious? Or is that last one just hidden to be stupid? Let's have a, another quick look. Finding page. Keystone. Let's smash all the crates. Here you will only find a red keystone. Extinguish the torch to the left of the stairs. Water arrow. What? Okay, it has been an eternity since we've used water arrows. Okay, it completely skips all of that. 
I I'd kind of forgotten about the, the water arrow and water and fire arrows. Hmm. Well, I remember it, but I, I didn't expect it to be used again. Do it kind of makes sense for the, the merchant seed was selling them for some reason. It's rather fortunate that I've always been interested in machines. This one is lacking any driving power. I must provide it with an energy supply in some form. Oh, we did have the energy pearl. And this is on hand now. Wait. Siren head! <laughs> but gold edition. Oh no. Okay, uh... What even is this? <laughs> oh, it's a weather machine. Yes, it works! Okay, so the puzzle was that the puzzle doesn't work. <laughs> it's a puzzle! Talus, is everything okay? Are you alright? Oh, Mal! My savior! How I have longed for you to come back! I'm so happy to see you again! Where is Dagomar? Is he dead? No. We've met each other, but he keeps disappearing. He likes to hide behind the monsters that he manipulates against me. But now that you are free, Talus, he has no means of pressuring me anymore. Now he will feel my full, unrestrained power. I will show him no more mercy. I must ask you to stay here, beloved Talus. I don't want you to fall into the hands of that traitor again. Promise me that you will hide from him on the temple roof. I will return as quick as I can, as Archon is waiting for us on the islands on the beach. What? You want me to hide and let you enter the fight alone? Do I look as though I'm afraid of helping you? I want to come with you and show that filthy rogue! Talus, please believe me. It's better this way. Anyway, what would become of Gothos if anything happened to me? Apart from Archon, you are the only being on Gothos who will be able to do something. Trust me. You must face this responsibility. And now I must go. We will see each other again very soon. Believe me. Is that true, Melvin? My head tells me otherwise, but deep in my heart I know that I can trust you. But I won't wait here forever. If the sun rises three times before you come back, then I'll look for Archon and organize help. If you have to face the enemy alone, then please put on these gloves. I stole them from Dagomar. They will make you quicker and more skillful in close combat. Now go! My heart goes with you, Mel! So yeah. once again, she like... gets left behind. <laughs> yeah, and once again, it sounds like they are writing letters to each other, not this talking. This is obviously the Temple of the Old Ones. I wonder whether the Clock of Eternity and the Shield Generator are inside the temple. I hope this is the right way. Hmm. And we also got these gloves. Increased accuracy of your weapons, what? No, that, of course it does. It helps if I have... Uh, wait. Wait. Well, oh, welcome to Tower's Vinta, the temple of our achievements. Hmm. Is this... I mean... It Can we actually... Quick? Okay, I, I think we are attacking faster with this one on. Hmm. Yeah, what does it mean with accuracy? Hmm. Yeah, because she said it was good for close combat. But it, um. it, it would make sense to give you an amulet to make you better shoot better for long range. But why give two items that basically do the same thing? Yeah, I think it's not that. I, I, they've probably mistranslated on one or the other. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking for. So far, it sounds like they're doing the same thing. But we don't know if that's the case or not. These are tough. It's been forever since we've seen those stupid little crystals. We have, I don't think we've seen those since the since the fairy fortress. Okay. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, we need a steel and he key. Walks away for the button. This is open. Okay. Um, let's see. Then I over here. Yep. Yeah, we are at we are at 10 p.m. But let's continue on for half an hour more to see if we can finish the game. Hopefully, there aren't too many puzzles between here and the end. Come on. I still don't know what those zero damage hits are caused by. It just seemed to be completely random, like negative crits or something. I think so it blocked the hit. Mm. What the heck were okay. those? Okay, I'm not hearing a timer. Going to put chalk in the, in the end dungeon. I can't help to wonder uh, if chalk was meant as a feature in the game that the, they abandoned or got left behind, or they thought people were to use it more often. Probably the latter. Come on, just die. There we go. Thirty-one percent of <laughs> experience of the next level again. And okay, we were lucky with the. Okay, we were lucky there. I, <laughs> if these blocks wouldn't have been here, I would have just walked straight over the edge. That's what I was uh, trying to reach for my silk cloth for my glasses. I need to clean my glasses so I can see the disaster you make. Let's see. A bit of platforming. Oh no. I hate these. <laughs> Even without my glasses on, I can see what this is. <laughs> Levitating uh, platforms over a empty abyss. Yep. I hate it. I hate them. I... Is some games like Guild Wars 2? It will wreck me mentally. <laughs> like it kind of uh, triggers like a uh, fear of falling reaction. Okay. So yeah, that means yes, that's been many part of the living story, and I finished the game with my hands shaking. And now we have to go all the way back again. Uh, <laughs> or we just do. No, not that. <laughs> I thought I had enough reach. Okay, uh, we can actually shortcut here. There we go. Uh, can we make that? Yes, we can make that jump. And there we go. Out of this already. Let me actually know we need those. To get back again. Hmm. But yeah, now that now that we're approaching the end of the game, uh, any, yep, any th uh, any things something? about it you'd like to specifically say so far? It's an interesting game. I like a lot of its concept, but my I think my big criticism is. Definitely the dialogue. Uh, like, yeah. Like, the on. world building is decent and very good. And the idea of the story is good, but... Yeah, the, the dialogue is definitely dragging it down a bit. From there, getting a little bit of praise for me. Ooh, this way. No, this can... This can... Of course, be a case of bad translation from German to English that went a bit wrong. Probably, yeah. So I will give it the benefit of the doubt there. 
And we s it seems we missed a switch here. Okay, not showing what that does. One the water I, arrows. I'm a bit surprised at what this game that. Like most games, we usually have time to brew and think on uh, any mysteries you find and such. Not this game. The squeakest upon is something you will find in it shortly, unless you avoid all library books. Well, not directly. We did have some bits where we had we didn't get it answered until quite a bit later. Yeah, but not many. Many usually get answered quickly. Let's see. I... Th yeah, I think that switch at the very end opens up that door and then we need to hit every switch along the way to keep extending it. Oh, actually, I think about it. Many things, some mysteries besides we get the answer for it quickly is some things are built up to be a mystery, but it's very blandly obvious what it is. Yeah. Like uh, Dagomar and Ramogad. It, if you if you took a good look at his name, uh, you probably have figured it out right after you learned of the name uh, Ramogad. <laughs> Yeah, that you be you think that oh it's him but backwards or it's his brother or sibling or something. Okay, not going to use the speed king. boots yet. Not that one. Okay, now I swap to the speed boots. Really run! And I think it just ended anyways. Does I'm the not timer surprised. continue? In... Maybe the timer doesn't stop when you're in inventory. Could be that, yeah. So, uh, well, let's try and just do this normally then. Also, I keep finding it a bit funny that in all the cinematics and such and on the cover that uh, Melvin's vest is brown, but in the game, it's green. That's also like an oversight. Almost missed that one. And we have the last one here. And then it's just a straight run. Wait, what? Did we miss one? That's yes. Oh, there's one over here. Which means that we're going to need to do that again. Ugh. It'd be nicer if each of them could be, if it could be restarted from the last one that you managed to activate whilst the timer was going. But yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure if there are many, if any, games that uh, are that generous with uh, letting you restart time puzzles. I usually hate time puzzles for. Unnecessary amount of stress, and some of them are just mean. From what I see, poorly made, or either way, too easy to make, or just Come so on. ridiculous that you wonder how the heck are you supposed to finish it without being so thin that you have to see that oh, some people can finish this in half the amount of time given with this fist just way too impossible. Yeah. For now though, 
let's give it another shot. Because, well, we need to. Come on. Okay, still on time. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it continuing in the inventory. Actually, we could have made a run for the other one, I think. Oh, 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 okay, so now it opens permanently. That, That's a lot better than has still having to rush through. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Save. Just in case, save. Good boy. Fire arrows and a large healing potion, okay. Actually... There, yeah, might as well use these up while we have them. And steel key. Okay, we got a silver key, which I think is this first. Actually, no, that's. I don't think that's the first silver key that we found. Pretty sure we found those before. Missed. <laughs> There we go. And, oh, it's, I, for a moment I thought it was a big ass hammer, but no. It's one of those fire stands. Dear, here we go. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> here we go, falling to our death again because the geometry hit a pit. <laughs> and here was the same pit here that can't see the difference between a hammer and a pole. Oh. Only to see you doing something mm. completely worse. Ah. Yeah, indeed, I, I agree with your noon. Well, <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's the exit there. So let's head to the other side to hopefully find the entrance. Egg, sis, exit. I hope you mean the egg. This. The, <laughs> the where, where did the key come from? Where did the key come from, Hillian? Uh, that that reminds me, actually. Uh, uh -oh. Some something that's a lot. Of, oh. Uh, in Stardew Valley, the uh, the sign, the, uh, the image of the uh, exit uh, button has a chicken on it sitting and yeah the, the pun with it is it it is the egg sit the... love of that that's painful also i think the story had a update recently no i, I had to double check so it's not a case of a mod but seems you can't become you start your own tavern? Okay. Uh, Again, I might have to investigate so it was just someone reviewing a mod that allows you to do it. It could be. I I, I tried modding that game, but uh, I probably over-modded it a bit, even though it was a recommended collection of mods from Nexus Mods. Uh, but yeah, it kind of broke the entire game. So I'm not even sure if I can play my normal <laughs> save anymore. That's bad. I'll probably explain why you haven't asked to me, me about Stardew in a while. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm very careful when looking up for mods. And uh, especially, yeah, mods only from Steam Workshop. Yeah, uh, well, that's it. That's the... Th actually, was it? Hmm. I'll, I'll need to double check. I think most... No, they were... They put, where the hell did you sneak up from? From the pit, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not unsure now if they were Steam mods or not. 
probably not then, I guess. I don't think uh, Studio I have Steam mods. Uh, yeah, then it, then certainly. And you did say it was from Nexus mod. Yeah. Yeah, I'll need to double check if my if my save with that still works. I got I gotten into the third year. Uh, but to be honest, the the reason I was looking up mods and such was because I was getting bored as all hell with it. Yeah, like I can see me as a return to Stardew Valley now and then, just to do something relaxing. For it is kinda that way. It's a lot of them. Not fall. There we go. Anything hitting around the edge? Don't think so. Okay. And I think that transition show means that we are in the final area. Let's see. Interior. Hmm. Didn't, I didn't check what the previous was called, but we'll see if we are close to the end or not. Well, we are close to the end. The, the question is how close and hello. You are welcome. I am the guardian of eternity. I was once the one who monitored the running of time. But someone interfered with the clock of eternity, and so it came about that eternity came to an end. Dagomar, who had betrayed our people once before, was freed from his prison when the clock, the magical machines, and life in Helmataros all stopped. It will require a true Technomage, an old one with all his special knowledge of magic, technology, combat, and mysticism to repair this clock and bring about the return of eternity. Do you want to be this Technomage? Then you must first prove yourself by fetching the four seals that will make this clock work again from the four masters of the powers on Gothos. If you succeed, eternity will return, and Gothos will continue to exist forever. The Transfloaters will take you to your next destination. Um, I can drop. <laughs> yep. Well, we also had we we had the mention of Technomage before, and uh, no, no, I guess no, in this no, no, I guess in one. this but, <laughs> what Return of Eternity. <laughs> yeah. Well, sort of. Uh, the other way around, but yeah. Uh, and I'm guessing in this universe, Palpatine's Force Ghost is a good guy. I guess okay. maybe the Obi Wan one, or Yoda. Oh, wait, no, no, wait! Don't, don't both those those not make sense? <laughs> okay, four trials. And hello. I am the Master of Defense. In order to receive the unique seal of defense from me, you must prove that you are the Technomage. That is an old one whose courage and skill in combat are unequaled by any opponent. Prove yourself by passing through my rooms and surviving all the tests. Only then will you receive the seal of defense from me and may then return as the guardian of eternity. I think that's the same voice actor as uh, the blacksmith in Steamer Town. Only well warped. Uh, let's see. No poison. Really, this is the best that you, all of your ancient technology, can master. Ow! A poison pit and a bunch of training equipment. Oh, we are low on those. So let's start using the big ones. Road. Oh dear. Okay, that poison pit is going to be annoying because we have only so many 
Nope. Anti po uh, poison potions left. Really? Lava? Yeah, this lava looks oh, a bit different. They, they even remove all of our items that aren't related to this. Uh, hopefully this will work. This, this is more just spamming your healing items for as long as you can. Okay, I don't remember this at all. There. At the very least, they have these side paths in case you fall off. And that's that. <laughs> you have proved that you are the rightful Techno Mage. Yours is the honor of helping to bring eternity back again. So take this seal of defense and go back with it to the clock of eternity. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's the same voice actor. <laughs> oh, and all of our stuff is returned to the first item of it. Okay. Uh, hello. Mistress's, uh, Mistress of Magic has power over all the, our magic spells. Only she can teach them to us or make us forget them all. Okay. I could have just gone to the other one on that side, but oh well. And hello. Welcome to the realm of mysticism. In my capacity as master of mysticism, I shall decide whether you are the true Technomage. The one who comes to restore eternity, and who truly deserves to receive the seal of mysticism from me. Pass all the tests in my chambers, and I will gladly give you the seal. Okay. So, this is probably just going to be... Yeah, each of these are just going to be only with the use of our those items. Um, why is that box there? There's nothing for us to climb up towards. Let's see, we have this block here, which could use one on top of it. Can I push you down here? No. And what's the use of you up here? Hmm. Okay, we have our bombs, we have our radar, we have our speed boots, and the grapple. Actually, 49 XP. Hmm. Yeah, but, mm. <laughs> we fell through a crack in the floor. Uh. Or, wait, or was it a crack? Let's take a look at that from a different angle. Yeah, there, there's a little gap in there. Okay, uh, let's see. Is there anything on the sides? Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Yep. Again. You actually can't slip through those cra- Okay, sorry. I, I, I think it may be a bit here, but that's- That's bullshit design. Oh, there's where we need to go. Yeah, that that's just- That's just bad. There we go. All they probably thought they were cleverly doing it, but no, that's not clever. That's just- Stupid. Yeah, no, no, more of just being an arse, really. Oh, well, I guess it's stupid to think that people will found it uh, as a challenge that... There, there, I can understand that um, you, there's a reason to make some things a bit annoying and so on, but... There's a limit. Okay, what did you do? And did that means that... That means just not to play annoying, it's just plain... Plain being an horse, really. I was... I was aiming for the turn camera button there. You wanna s destroy the camera? Alright. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, this is just going to be a bunch of platforming... And... 
I don't even think the bomb is going to be uh, in <laughs> be used here. Almost fell off again. Oof. And we got five minutes remaining. Yeah, I, I I think we're close enough that we can probably finish this off now. All right. So here we go. And what do you do? A timer. Okay, but what are you timing? Okay, that thing probably. So speed boots. Oh, that opens a door somewhere. Very... For a very short time. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, I think it doesn't open the door. It, does, it activates that platform, I'm guessing. It just didn't because it was already gone. There we go. See, it stops ticking the moment this one starts moving. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Hopefully that's... Oh, come on. Really? Okay, um, so we're going to need to time... Down. Yeah, we're supposed to grab onto there, so we're going to have to time the cooldown of the speed boots along with that trip. So let's activate it early. Any boots? There, and hopefully now it'll be off of cooldown by the time we pass back. Yeah, this is. In one way it is clever, but in most ways it's still annoying. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a way to do something annoying but still clever. But still call those crops just pure bullshit. Now where to next then? Anything on the borders? There's a table or something over there. Definitely not going that way. Wait, where do we need to go then? Okay, yeah, what, what, why were we sent here? Um, hmm. Wait, do we need to use the arrows? Oh, wait, there's a brace there. Do you need to extinguish it? Yeah, we, we don't have access to our bow. Wait, what? Nope. Wait, can't you use the ice spell instead? N no spells either. Everything except for the mysticism stuff is gone. Um. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's it. Hmm. Hmm. Bomb them in what? Let's see. Bullet north. The next level you are to get on the platform quickly, but don't use the speed boots, as you will have to use a bollard when you are on the platform. When you reach the large area, you will notice a pattern of 16 small circles. Uh, you have. Wait, we have to play freaking tick. We have to play freaking memory. With bombs. Yes, it is. Yep. Come on. Hmm. Mom in Paris. A A. Okay, the pair. I'm just going to blatantly look up where they are here. Uh, 
Okay, so it's like this. And then it's this one. And this one. Or not what? Does does the whole thing reset? Yep. Okay, that's just a load of bull. Okay, that's a blue cross. Okay, those stay. And then, according to this, this one and this one should match. Yeah, this is just plain stupid. Then, this. And this. Okay. This one. Like, more of my game, opinion of this game has gone more and more towards neutral. Like, there's a, a lot of things I like about it, but also a lot of things I dislike about it. Yeah, just stupid old design things. All just the, the things they thought, let's make something new with a twist. Like, explosive memory. No. But people like explosives. The, the, this is not the case where explosion makes memory move fun. Yeah. Especially like, when the whole thing resets. That, that should not be a thing you ever do in a, a game where you put memory in as a thing. Yeah. Okay, give me the stupid seal and fuck off to the afterlife. You have proved that in you, the knowledge of magic and technology are closely intertwined. It is my honor to give you the seal of mysticism. With your help, the clock of eternity may tick again. Also, I, that face looked like someone photoshopped their own face into the game or something. Yeah, I kind of. Okay, you are magic. I am the mistress of magic. You are the first to approach me since the clock of eternity stopped ticking. Prove yourself as Technomage, and show that your magic can overcome the barriers of my test. Only when you have fulfilled all the tasks can you return to the Guardian of Eternity with the Seal of Magic. May your magic be powerful. Okay, let's see. First things first seems to be to turn these on. It probably lowers the platform to give us the key. Okay, where is... Is there any more? Hmm. What is... Okay, that's going to heal our... Or that's... Okay, yeah, that, he that restores our mana. What is this? Anything here? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Okay, at the very least they give us uh, replenishing mana here. Or the ability to refill it. Uh, let's see. That's three of those fire things. What's the door? Four four. I'm pretty sure that... I, I know how... What they're... Oh. Sneaky. Is that... No. Hmm. I, I know what those things are... What you should uh, call them. Nope. Uh, sirens in the background. Pos Sorry if that's audible. Uh, I know what those things are actually called. But there's no way I can make... Uh, I can uh, make... Uh, there's no way... I can say it without it sounding like I'm just using the difficult word for bra. Uh, brazier. Yeah, that one. Okay. But it's what this call, we'll call brazier. Where? 
He's doing... Okay, do we need to have certain ones turned on and others off? There's no other light sources here. I'm still not convinced that you are worth... Okay, the, there is no other ones here. So, does one need to be turned off or something? Or... Hmm. The hell do you want from me? Hmm... Do they need to be turned on in a certain order or something? Okay, I'm just... This is too stupid. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Anything about the magic one in here? Arena of weapons, arena of magic. Da -da -da. Facing block. Really? Fuck. Not enough mana. Upgrade. And now something of the vortex spell that we never learned before. It moves items around. We really haven't had a use for that until now. Yep. Oh. But the Oh, I know what to use here, I'm guessing. That... That doesn't... Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, there it destroys go. the boulders. It doesn't block them, it just destroys them. Yeah. So, Melvin is very lucky to have found that randomly on the side of a volcano. You know, here is where fire and ice is going to be of use. Okay, is there a certain pattern described here somewhere? Or do they just all need to be turned on? Let's start with turning all of them on. Or lighting all of them. Obviously not the answer. Then, hmm, there has to be something here to show a pattern, or is it another case of just guessing? Sure. Blame Moosh. Uh, shield spell. Use the key to... Light torches in a specific pattern, that is, the four corners and two in the center. Again, where does that... Where are we supposed to find it, this information? Okay, that'll be easy enough. Oh, come on. Might as well put all of them out then. Or... Hmm. Okay, let's do it like this, because the center one needs to be act turned on. We do this, and that, and then we send the Ice Claw along the edge. Do not close enough. There we go. And now we just use the Fireball. But not that. Still don't see where we needed to find out that pattern. You truly proved yourself to be a great magician. So it is with great trust that I am therefore handing over the seal of magic to you. 
It is truly unique. Guard it well, for only it can make eternity return. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the voice actors from the Fairy Fortress. And now only one thing remains. Let's see. Master of Mysticism nurtures the techno the technical magical knowledge within us and prepares us for the great task that only an old one can perform. Okay, so the Master of Defense and Offense don't get anything in their honor. Did I they put some of the statues in wrong order? I am the Master of the Weapons. And it has been some time since it was my duty to train and test our best warriors. Melvin, you are here to save Gothos, and so you will need to wield every weapon with great skill. I am therefore going to send you into my arenas. Only if you win every fight will you receive the seal of combat from me. Fight to give new life to eternity. I like his portraits. Yeah. It's, it's nice. Oh, with the, oh. I'm not going to fight that with a freaking dagger. Actually, this might work. Oh, yeah, definitely. For, for once, the water arrows. So that, that's new that enemies have AoE attacks. Ow. Are they oh, burping? Yeah, it, it, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be growls. That's more like they are burping. Okay, no four. Oh, grunting? Bird grunting? Where the hell did he get these things from? They look like act just plain old demons. And then there we go. Great warrior, you have proved your abilities impressively. It is my honor to grant you the seal of combat. Why, May why? you succeed in saving Gothos. By what, just running what, around what? and firing off a bunch of arrows. <laughs> Hold on. We were lied to. He said mm -hmm. arenas. Plural. That was only one. Yeah, they, they probably had to cut back a bit or just made a mistake in the translation again. Oh yeah, we have all the seals, so this should bring us to the Shield Generator of Eternity, which is still a dumb name if you ask me. And that's likely where we'll be facing Dagomar then. You haven't got all the seals from the master. What? Wait, what? One, two, three, four. I I have all four of them. Oh. You haven't got all the seals from Put them in their intended places. Could have said that earlier, jackass. There. Of eternity. Title the up. clock of eternity is ticking again. Now, Gathos will be saved. Melvin, using my powers, I will now transfloat you into the heart of Taros Vinta, the place where the great shield generator is, the crowning glory of the knowledge and art of the old ones. Do the ancient and great people a great honor, and return the crystals of eternity to their allotted function. Your inner eye showed you what you had to do, but guard against Dagomar. On no account lose the white crystal, since it will decide which of you two gains power over Gothos. May the powers and magic of eternity go with you. Okay. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait. Too late. Too bad. Hello. Um. Hi. Yeah, you could say that something is wrong. 
Okay, here we go. The same voice thing as the demons from earlier. And it has... I hope it isn't going to be spawning those things constantly. It looks like it is. It's, it's spitting rocks at me. Well, it is made of rock. What do you expect? <laughs> to at least not be so rude as to spit in my face. You piss off, you little skeleton bat thing. With the strike of thunder we fill out our ma xp and max up level up again just in time to i'm going to put it into strength anyways just uh, to be safe just in time to unlock the third power on mysticism really you couldn't you couldn't have just teleported me to this part And now he's playing Palpatine. Never. Why should I trust you? I know enough to replace the crystals and save Gothos. That's all that matters. First, you want to know that your plan will work out. Uh, not only do I have Talus in my power, but I have always held the reins of power over Gothos in my hands. It was I who deceived the Council of Wise Ones, put the Dragon out of action and manipulated the clock of eternity. How do you know that I haven't already manipulated the shield generator? Without me, you will never be able to master this machine. Don't make me laugh. Neither do you have Talus in your power, nor am I in any way dependent upon you. I have proved that I carry the knowledge, the magic, and the power of the old ones in me. Because I am the Techno Mage, and nothing will prevent me from completing the Return of Eternity by putting the crystals to their intended use again. This is your last chance to implore me to be merciful, Dagomar. All right then, you thick-headed, pointy-eared hero wannabe. We'll do hey. this the hard way. Give me the crystals, or you will feel the power of my fury. Never! Come here and fight, traitor! Come on! <laughs> and yeah. Oh, yep, some. <laughs> here we go. The finale of the game. And he has the same grunts as Melvin, only tone shifted. <laughs> So your teleport spell is as obvious as can be. <laughs> so where the uh, a third of his health gone, and he has pissed off to somewhere else. Put that in, it... eh. and thus the great hero <laughs> of Gothos fell into a pit and died. <laughs> okay, yeah. We have to fight him, because otherwise that remains blocked. Okay, here we go. Okay, it is just the same grunt, so be it slightly different in pitch. 
Let's wait. He's throwing those ghosts at us now as well. Okay. It's been a while since we used the Ankh. Actually, can that see this ghost as well? Oh, and we're out of small healing potions. Luckily, we still have like a buttload of big ones left. Yeah. And also, also should we try oh. the new skill with uh, powering our attacks? Uh, I presume it should be active already. Not giving any... Well, we have no way to act actively activate it, so I'm guessing it's a passive. And it seems we've kind of broken the game because the music is gone. Okay, that's half of his health and half of the crystals. And that is slowly but surely activating the machine. Though it's, they, it seems they haven't animated the rings in this though. And yeah, the radar can see the ghosts. Nope. Almost. That <laughs> we could have. We likely would have died there. Oh, he's summoning them. Okay. There we go. We still have combined potions for easy use. Can we save now? No, just... Okay, that is... So, the save option is disabled during boss fights. Okay, let's just hope we don't mess up this jump. It, it does make certain best. sense, but yeah. I, I can imagine the disaster you might do if you save at the wrong time at the boss fight. These cool, cool-looking motherfuckers again. Okay. Come back here, you. Oh, this is now open? Okay, uh, quickly. Oh, oh, so they do have the rings in... I, I just overlooked them and they were being blocked by <laughs> the device itself. And his health is down, but he's still going on. Give it up already. So I'm pretty sure what I know what we need to, what needs to happen, since well we put the crystal in its place there. There we go. That was the single most stupidest move uh, in your entire existence, and that existence is going to last for a very, very, very long time. Um, luckily, we're not going to have to spend all of eternity with that jackass. 
And that would have been quite the shortcut if we'd found that fucking hole. Ah, what the heck? Run, Duggo, run! And that was Techno Mage Return of Eternity. Also, Archon, you motherfucker, get back here. You have to strand us on the fucking island. <laughs> uh. <laughs> A flawed game, for yeah, certain, either. but I still like it. Probably a lot because of, well, nostalgia bias. Yeah, but. I could see this be remade and receive a little polish that it needs, but yeah. My opinion is it's very neutral for, again, a lot of things I like about it, like Mario Dunn. Uh, door means door in Swedish. <laughs> yeah, so... no more time. <laughs> <laughs> this may, this game was partially made by Mario's front door. Oh dear. But yeah, a lot of things I like and dislike. Like, I like the world building, and I like most of the story, and I like the creativity of the creature and all that. But yeah, some puzzles definitely a bit drag, and then of course the Dialogue. Uh, yeah, that, the yeah. dialogue really. <laughs> the dialogue is very uh, old. <laughs> Not only old, but you know, again, it might be the English translation players uh, doing a bad job. Yeah, yeah. Again, German the voice can be actors... pretty hard to translate. <laughs> yeah, I think they gave the voice actors rather up. Uh, very badly written up uh, translation and format that it comes off of, like they uh, again they're, like they're reading reading letters to each other and not talking like they're reading reading from a piece of a letter that re they send each other and read it out loud <laughs> yeah this does not go mm. do very good storytelling in this manner like the, I can say it worked in some moments when it makes sense, but here, no, it did not work at all. Uh, I, I don't think this game could ever really have a sequel since, well, the Shield Generator of Eternity, which is still a silly name, <laughs> is running for supposedly Eternity now, but then again, Dagomar did manage to get out after eternity as well because we still don't it's never it's not specifically said well i think in the the last bit where with his dialogue there he basically said that it was him that uh, manipulated the clock so technically speaking he could do it again yeah. he might have manipulated it before he got imprisoned True, but he was still in there for hundreds of lifetimes, so if he did, he did it poorly. That or he knew that uh, when he he, he would be freed, his age would be dead. <laughs> Could be. It would be quite a... That would... Hmm. It'd be a what gamble. would that count as? A Batman gambit? Uh, no, it, it'd be quite a gambit. What kind of gambit I probably wouldn't be able to... Uh, accurately <laughs> predict. No, yeah. I wouldn't be able to accurately name. Yeah, 
but it's at least an option, for he did seem to hint about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, thinking of something to possibly 3D print from this game, I, I'd say the, the Respawn logo, or the Technomage logo, I, I'd, uh, I wouldn't, certainly wouldn't mind having one of those 3D printed. Uh, I was also pos yeah, I was also for a moment considering there may be just a, an attempted replica of the shield generator of eternity, but that would be quite intricate and sizable, so probably better not. Yeah, and probably even fragile. Yeah. <laughs> this is going on for quite a bit. And I think this is the music from the fairy fortress. I'll have to look around if the OST is somewhere online, or if I can rip it from the game. Uh, yeah. I speaking of rip, I should be I. I used a pro uh, a program to get the three D model from a uh, of our Wololo. Of a willow, willow pine, I think it was the name. Willow pine was the, the word, was the name, uh, because Wololo is uh, a Pokemon. It's that sheep from the <laughs> from the Scottish uh, <laughs> Pokemon games. Wait, what? Uh, oh no! Actually, it's uh, the name is older than that, Hillian. Oh? It's an old meme that's been revived. Yeah, From but, Age of Empires 2. Uh, oh, that, that's what the priests say when they convert something. Also, yeah. is it looping Wolo, now? Wolo, 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 Wolo. Lord, I, I, I'm surprised I made a good impression there. Uh, I, yeah, it's looping now, I think, because we already saw Mario Door. Mario so, Dur. Yeah, Dur. Dur. <laughs> so let's go. There isn't going to be oh, anything after, it. anyways. <laughs> uh, so let me get a print screen, just so I can get a non-stretched version of the logo over there. And yeah, with that, we're done with Technomage. So let's head over. Let me turn yeah. this off for a moment. I like so, over there, noon. <laughs> yeah, it, it was... I think it was looping, so that's why it was be going on so long. So let me turn all the icons back on. And yeah, where did I have that schedule typed out? Let's see. I... So little names we saw, it may explain why the game felt a bit rough. Like, we're not many that may have worked on it. I know I had a note about it somewhere here. I should probably, I should probably clean up my notes. At this rate, you should probably have bookshelves behind you. Or a stack of papers on your table. Uh, wait. What? Wait, hold on. Why is that a pipe on your table? Yeah, that's yours. <laughs> I don't smoke. Uh, what was... Oh, that, that's what that was. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that was just on the table in the intro. That that's that not related to anything at all here. Where is that freaking schedule? Or were we just going to go through those games that we had planned in alphabetical order? Hmm. Yeah, definitely a lot of paperwork. You know, do like one old game, then one newer one, then something like that. I I even forgot which one you were to do next. Uh, I I have it here. I have it here. I should probably stop using. I should probably stop using the paper wrappers of bubble gum packets to uh, write down notes. Uh, uh, let's yeah, see. you should. <laughs> okay, I believe this is the schedule as I had planned it out. We have finished off Techno Mage now. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil, we also finished. Then the next game we will be streaming on the main weeks is going to be Tribes Vengeance. Ever heard it of that? Sounds concerning. <laughs> uh. 
Pardon? And yeah. Uh, by the time that this is going live now, which is we've passed three hours now, but it's the finale, so it can go on a bit longer. Uh, I haven't actually gotten to uploading any of the episodes of the streams of this, but I'll, I'll definitely need to. Yeah, I definitely need to triple check that I do something on the uh, yeah the photo sensitive bits. And at one episode, I believe number seven, I said I would up I would edit in a map of Gothos as well. So yeah, from the manual. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, uh, an extra stream on Wednesday instead of Thursday because, well, work. Um, I'm not sure... I, I, I don't think we'll be able to stream on Saturday unless we do it uh, plenty early. Uh, because of work. Uh, I'll, I'll need to double check on that as well. Um, but we will, be, we will be able to stream on Sunday, though, early. At our usual times, so maybe uh, we we could we could stream on Saturday as well if we do it early, like three p.m. here, so five hours earlier. Yeah, that could work. It, it so would be out of sync with everything else, but hmm. it's a simple compromise. True. Uh, yeah, we'll try that then. Saturday and Sunday, if possible, three p.m. Um. Otherwise, we'll have to see if I can fill in anywhere else. For now, though, uh, next week we'll be starting on Tribes Vengeance. So thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Noon, for watching and chatting along. And thank you especially, Drakir. You're most welcome, Captain. <laughs> and yeah. So if things to confirm if things go well on Saturday, 3 p.m. Uh, Amsterdam time, we will be streaming Tales of Monkey Island, where we'll be starting with Chapter 4, and on Sunday, Minecraft again. Oh dear, this is going to be a ride. <laughs> okay, I still need to finish up a mod pack if that server thing collapses, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So, for now... Yep. Thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. We see, folks, and watch out for the Amsterdam bridge roll. <laughs> what is a thing? <laughs>